In problem number 27, I'd like to evaluate the limit, limit as x goes to 0, of e to the x minus sine of x minus 1 divided by x to the fourth plus 8x cubed plus 12x squared. All right. So the very first thing I need to do if I'm evaluating a limit like this is say, OK, what kind of a form do I have if I plug in 0? Is it an indeterminate form? And if it is, is it one of the indeterminate forms that I can use L'Hopital's rule on? In other words, I'm really trying to figure out, is this thing kind of looking like a 0 over 0 or an infinity over an infinity? And if the answer is yes, great. Use L'Hopital's rule. If the answer is no, well, then we can't. So let's check it out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in 0 to the top and bottom and just see what the form is of this thing. Okay, so if I plug in 0, I get e to the 0, which is 1, uh, minus sine of 0, which is 0, minus 1. So I get 1 minus 1, which is 0. Okay, on the bottom, if I plug in 0, I get 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is 0. So I do, in fact, get a form 0 over 0. So this is a problem where I can just go ahead and use L'Hopital's rule right now. So I can go ahead and take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom of this thing. So let's go ahead and do it. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of, let's take the derivative of the top. So the derivative of the top is going to be the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of negative sine of x is negative cosine of x. And the derivative of minus 1 is 0. So the top is done. Now let's take the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. Uh, the derivative of 8x cubed is 24x squared, and the derivative of 12x squared is 24x. So now let's check out the form. Are we done? If I plug in 0 here, I get e to the 0, which is 1, minus cosine of 0, which is 1. So the form here, on top we have 0. On bottom I have 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is 0. So I still have form 0 over 0. So that means that to find this limit, I could use L'Hopital's rule. So let's do it again. Let's take the derivative of the top. Let's take the derivative of the bottom. So I get the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the top. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of negative cosine of x is positive sine of x divided by the derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. The derivative of 24x squared is 48x. And the derivative of 24x is 24. OK, let's look at this again. What happens if I plug in 0 to the top? I get 1 plus 0. Well, 1 plus 0 is not 0. So that means I'm going to, and what about on the bottom? If I plug in 0, I get 0 plus 0 plus 24. Also not 0. So I can go ahead and take a limit at this point. I do not need to use L'Hopital's rule again. And if I plug things in at this point, which I am able to do, I get 1 plus 0 on top, 1 plus 0. And on the bottom, I get 0 plus 0 plus 24, or 24. So the answer to this problem is 1 over 24, and I'm done. So you can see that there are situations in which we will need to use L'Hopital's rule more than one time to solve a problem. Uh, but if you see that you get a form 0 over 0, use L'Hopital's rule. We get a form 0 over 0, we use L'Hopital's rule. And we can keep doing that until eventually we get a form that's not 0 over 0 anymore, and then we can just take the limit in standard ways.